Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Sophia. I'm just checking the camera and to make sure that I could see very well because I, I moved the camera guys so I can't see what you guys are seeing or what you can't see. So today I am going to do a review that is Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick, old school lipstick guys. And honestly, like when you're 12 years old and you're experimenting with makeup, I know I didn't have a lot of money. So for a 12 year old that is wanting um, to try out different lipsticks and wear makeup, like Revlon was perfect. I mean, now it is barely $5 for a tube, like a whole bullet, guys, $5, $5.50, whatever. And there's always coupons for them. So you cannot go wrong. And I think as a teenager, this was my go-to because it's the only thing I could really afford aside from Wet n Wild. But for some reason, I felt like Revlon was a little bit more, um, a little classier and a little more prestigious to be wearing Revlon over Wet n Wild. So um, here I am, 37-ish uh, years later. What am I saying? Oh my God, I, that's... <laughs> 37 plus 12 does equal 49. I was thinking like, oh my God, I'm so old. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna cut that out. <laughs> I'm old, guys. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God, this is totally live and I refuse to edit stuff, okay? I was doing the math. I'm like, oh my God, 37 plus 12 is 49. That's how old I am. Oh my God. Okay. So yes, for 37 years, I've been buying Revlon and my love for Revlon has not changed. So, um, ooh, <laughs> a little sweaty from having had that real, sorry, like that realization of how old I am. And yes, it was true because I was like, how could it be 38, 37 years? Well, yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> okay, so my video today is I'm going to try on a bunch of lipsticks by Revlon. And some are more of my favorites and the ones that I used to wear in high school versus others that I just started discovering now. And you know what? I've been kind of like kind of going out of my comfort zone the last five years and buying like different lipsticks. Um, in different colors. I love a bold mouth now. And I did when I was really young too. And there was, I went through some period in the middle of my life where I didn't, but Revlon has it all. If you like soft, if you like um, pinks, if you like reds, if you like vampy colors, Revlon has a variety of colors, as you can see in the picture. What is that called? The picture, the like thumbnail. the thumbnail. In the thumbnail, you will see what I'm talking about. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. My lips are going to be really raw by the end of this. I don't want to take a whole lot of time because I know I am a rambler and I could go on and on and on and I don't want to do that. So we are going to get started with this lipstick um, try on and that way you guys can see um, what it looks like. I am not wearing anything on my lips. I'm not even wearing... Um, concealer. Um, I normally would wear a little bit of concealer with some of the darker lipsticks. I don't like how some of the concealers can make the color change. It does something to some of the colors where it's not truly the real color. Um, and of course, lip color can affect color as well, but I'm not wearing anything on my lips because that's how I like to test lipstick. Um, so I'm going to start with the lightest. I'm actually going to switch these two out. Which one's this one? Champagne. Hi, I almost think champagne on ice is lighter, but anyways, I'm going to switch out to one of my original lipsticks that I wore in high school. I wore the hell out of this in middle school and high school, soft city, I'm oh, sorry, silver city pink number 405. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yes. You can see it 405. It's clear. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I am going to put it on. This is, now I grew up in the 80s and the 80s was all about frost. I don't tend to wear a lot of frosty lipsticks anymore because I feel like it kind of washes me out. But those of you that grew up in the 80s, you know what I'm talking about, right? 
And this is how I would slap it on. I put a lot of coats on. I have about three coats on right now, four now. So I think that, you know, it's, I still think there's something very pretty about it. Um, I think when you have a tan, it looks really pretty. Um, even on very fair skin, I still think it could look very pretty. And I think there's an occasion for every color. And I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling old school vibes right now. Might wear this tomorrow to work. So that is, ladies and gentlemen, 405 Silver City Pink. All right. I'm going to take that one off. And we're going to go straight to the next one. It's really, it's frosty. It has a little bit of color. It's very pink. And it's almost like, a, it is silvery pink. It's not golden pink. Okay. That's off. I don't want even a little bit left over to mess with the color. Silver City Pink. This one is Champagne on Ice, number 205. I hope you guys can see that. Now, Champagne on Ice is a color that is, it's kind of like the uh, Silver City Pink where it's extremely frosty. But this one has a little bit more of a foil it's gold. It's almost like a rose gold foil. It's kind of, um, no, maybe like a nude foil. And I don't know, there's something about it that I find kind of pretty, even though it's just not one of those colors that I would really wear every day. I, I'd say it's like a, a foily nude, but I think it looks very pretty. And again, it depends on your outfit. I actually wore this color with a very beautiful navy dress that I had. And it was, it actually looked really stunning. So yeah, that is champagne on ice. So this, I would consider it totally like a foily, frosty nude. And I actually don't see a lot of colors like that. Do you, Melanie? Mm -hmm. Like a frost, a very frosty, beachy, summery nude. I grew up in Southern California, so these colors were very, very popular in the 80s. All right, the next color is, and this is actually my second bullet of it. It's called Blushing Mauve Number 460. And I did not wear this one in high school, but just want to make sure you guys can see it. Did not wear this one in high school, but I really am liking it now. It's my second one that I've bought. I don't know. It looks blurry to me. Wish it was a little more clear so I don't have to spend too much time trying to show it in the camera. Well, it's called Blushy Moth. And this one actually has a little bit of, it's very pink, even though it's called mauve. And in sunlight, especially, this color is so pretty. It is a very soft pink. And it's almost, it. it's nude. I consider this a pinky nude. I'm looking in the mirror just to make sure that it's not running anywhere. And what I like about this one, it is has it has a little bit of a lip gloss effect. It goes on super um smooth and it has a glossy feel and it looks really pretty in the sun <clears throat> i like wearing this in the summer and actually this color can go with anything anything that you're wearing it looks really pretty it's actually one of my favorites right now and i didn't mention this this is a pearl like there's different finishes there's the cremes which is a cream the pearl and then there's the shine and then there's the mattes that I know of. And this one, um, Blushing Mauve, is a pearl. And it's very lightly pearled. It's not like very frosty, as you can tell. Um, and again, it's, it has a little bit of a glossy effect when you're wearing them. And obviously, Silver City Pink and um, the Champagne on Ice are a um, pearl finish. All right, so here is... God, I love this color. I just bought that bullet. It's the first time I put it on since I bought it, but I love it. It's one of my favorite go-tos all summer long, last summer. And um, 
summer before. Okay, let's try a different one. We are going to move on to gentlemen prefer pink. And this is number 450. I hope that you can see that. It's 450, gentlemen prefer pink. This is another pearl. Now, this one is also a color that I would I would have worn in high school. I may have had it once or twice. I don't remember. But it's a very frosty pink, but it's a little darker than um, Silver City Pink. And what I find with this one, it, it has, it's kind of a bluish tinted pink. And it's a pearl... Now, most of the Revlon colors, it's funny, the texture on most of them seem to be very soft and smooth. They, and they don't feel like heavy and thick on my lips at all. And they slide really easily on my lips. That's one thing that I do like about it. It's like I never, it's almost like having a tinted lip balm. The way it feels on your lips, it's like a lip balm. Most of the lipsticks feel that way, like a lip balm. They are not super, super heavy, um, but there are some that feel just a little bit heavier for some reason. And I don't know what it is about the texture, if there's even really a difference or if it's the kind of pigmentation that they put in the lipstick that will give it like a slightly different a texture. And it's a slight different texture, but like um, the Blushing Mauve and this one feel very similar, very smooth. This one's brighter pink. And that, you guys, is Gentlemen Prefer Pink. And it's a pearl. I didn't mention that. It's been a while since I've worn some of these, so it's I'm like looking at them again with new eyes. I might decide to wear something that I haven't worn in a while to work tomorrow. All right, next we did Silver City Pink. The next one is actually a very iconic color. It is called Pink in the Afternoon. <clears throat> this is almost like a corally, a slightly corally dusty pink. And supposedly it is a cream. Supposedly it's the color, and I don't know if it's the color that was worn or the actual lipstick that was worn in uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's by Audrey Hepburn. So this is what kind of caught my attention, aside from the fact that it's very pretty. And this is 415, pink in the afternoon. Oh, well, you can kind of see it there. Pink in the afternoon. It's, And I don't remember if it's the actual lipstick she wore or the color was kind of made to mimic that color. So this is uh, 415, pink in the afternoon. This one has a slightly thicker texture. It still has a little bit of gloss. I don't know if you can see that it's a little bit shiny. I'm being kind of sloppy with it, but. And this gives me more of a, I don't know if it's because of hot, Audrey Hepburn or not, but it kind of gives me like that 60s mod feel. Like the lipstick is not super bright, but it has a little bit of a pastel to it. It's not pastel, but it almost has a little bit of a pastel feel to it. And this is another one that I think can go with just about anything. So this is Pink in the Afternoon, number 415. Very Audrey Hepburn, according to um, rumors that this is the color that she wore in Breakfast at Tiffany's. What do you guys think? All right. On with the next. Trying to get all the little, all the colors and the creases. I hate to think of what my lips are going to look like tomorrow. Okay, next is Peach Me. This one is a pearl and it's almost like a, um, a golden peach. Has a little bit of a, a nude feel to it. This is called six. This is number 628 Peach Me. Also pearl. 
This one is really pretty also, I think, for the summer. Kind of like a golden peach. What do you think, Melanie? My sister's here, by the way. Hello. Doing this with me. <laughs> Did you say it's a golden peach? Yeah, it is very peachy. And it's another one really good for summer tan. And I think people with darker complexions would look really pretty with this on, like a tan. And I don't know on the camera, but I know that on this mirror, it kind of makes my teeth look white. So this is Peach Me number 628, and it's a pearl. And I honestly, I see it like a little bit of a peach, a little bit of a nude, and a little golden touch to it. Very pretty with a tan or tan or tanner skin. Very neutral. I like that. Okay. So next we have, I believe it's this one, Coral Berry. This one is a cream. So this color I've worn quite a few times. This is 674 Coral Berry. Got some dust underneath. The only thing about this one is it tends to go on a little bit sheer. It's called cream, but I noticed that when I put it on, I have to put on quite a few layers to get the true color out of it. You can put on like one or two layers for a lighter look, which is more like a glossy look. But if you want more pigment, then you need to, I would say, put on like three or four. And to me, I don't know what's considered one. I usually tend to go through my lips a few times with the lipstick um, over my lips a few times. This one is, it's definitely coral, but it's a very light, not like a frosty, but it's, it's a lighter coral. And it's almost like a nude going toward coral. And I think this is also a color. I honestly think this is a pretty universal color. Even if you're like light, super light skin, medium skin, and even dark skin. I think this could also look really pretty on dark skin. And it does have a glossy feel to it on my lips. And it does tend to look a little bit glossy um, on the lips. I can't really see what you guys. Oh, I can see it right there. You guys, you can see that it has a sheen, like a gloss to it. Um, and again, you know, you can put on one layer. It almost goes on like a gloss, two, three, to get the full effect of it. It's pigmented, very pigmented, but not the most pigmented of the bunch here. Okay, so I, I do like this one. To be honest, I like all of them so far. Just, I've kind of shot, um, I'm shying away as an older person from the super frosty ones that I wore as a preteen. I discovered red lipstick at 15 and that's all I wore for like two years. And, you know, again, it was the 80s. So I started a trend though. I have to say that I did start a trend and then all the girls at first they were like, oh, cause everyone's wearing their frosty. They're like, oh, how could you wear that? That's so dark. Then all of a sudden, all these girls are wearing red lipstick. Kind of pissed me off because it was my thing. And suddenly everyone's wearing red lipstick. But that's what you get when you're a trend starter. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but seriously, I'm not lying. I, I did start that trend in high school because no one could believe that I was wearing dark lipstick. And it's like, well, it looks good. And yeah. it sure damn did because they all started wearing it. All right. This one is called Blushed. And this is number... 420. And this is also a pearl. And some of these look so much alike, but when you put them on, they are a little different. Um, you can see the difference. This one reminds me a lot of the uh, Blushing Mauve. It also has, let's see, let me put it on. This one's a little bit more nude and it has a little bit more frost in comparison to the other one. So this one's nude, but it's a frosty nude. 
Would you say this is like bronzy or silvery? I'm trying to figure out the lighting, I think, may be affecting how I see it. Um, I'd say it's more bronzy than silver. Blushed, uh, blushed 420. Has a little bit of a bronzy effect. Now I'm just turning my head so I can see it. It is really reflecting true to the lighting that I have. So I'm kind of glad that, that I use this lighting. This is really what it looks like um, out in the sun because that's kind of the effect that I wanted to me. You can really see a color based um, is when you're out in the sun. And this is really truly what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's a little, yeah, it's a little bit more bronzy. It's a bronzy nude is what it is. And again, that's blushed number 420. And it's a pearl. All right, let's take this one out, off. Which one do you like so far the most, Melanie? Um, I want to say that peachy one was really nice. The peach me or the coral berry? Actually, coral berry is really nice, but I meant the peach me. Okay. <laughs> this one is number 637, blushing nude. A lot of blush colors, blushing nude, blushing mauve. This one is blushing nude. This one is a cream, and it actually goes in kind of tan. I think this is the one that, yeah, this is pretty brown. Again, pretty shiny. I see it pretty brown. It's very beige. This is Blushing Nude 637, and it's a cream. Not my favorite. I still have it. I own it, and I wear it every now and then, but it is... It is not my favorite, but it's still pretty. And I, I know that a lot of people like these colors. I feel like for me, it kind of washes out my face a little bit. And I always like to see what it looks like on teeth when you smile. Okay, let me get that one out. Well, this one is kind of more flat brown, beige, I should say. All right, next is Pink Velvet, and this one is 423 Pink Velvet. This one's also a cream. I feel like it looks pretty shiny. Again, they're very smooth colors. I don't know if I hit my lips correctly. <laughs> Might be like bleeding or I over colored, but this is a soft pink. It definitely has pigmentation. It's darker than the rest of the lipsticks that I've used um, so far that I've tried out. This one has, but it's, it's also, it's pink, but it's neutral. It's a neutral pink. So it's not loud. Pink Velvet for 23, and it is a cream. My sister was going to do this with me, and we we're both going to try it on. Like, she's pretty much, we're similar skin tone, but she's kind of sick. So we decided not to share lipsticks. So <laughs> I was just doing, I'm doing it myself. All right. So that one was pink velvet. Next one is rose velvet. And this is more of a taupey pink nude. And oh, did I show you? It's number 130, rose velvet. Can you see that? Yeah, this is kind of beige like a taupey beige pink. Yeah, definitely a taupey color. 
and has a shine. It's weird because this one is not my favorite, but when I wear it, I like it. It's, it's kind of weird. It's like I have to be in the mood for it. But yeah, I think it's very pretty. It's a cream. I think I need a new wipe. So if you guys are watching, please comment on what your favorite color is so far that I've worn, or if you want to wait till the end of the video um, that you like and that you think that you might want to wear, or if you happen to have a favorite Revlon lipstick that I did not show, I'd like to see it. I'd like to see, I know there's so many more. I mean, I have what, 22, 23 out of 78. There's like 78 colors. Um, this one is called Sandalwood Beige. Here is number 240. And this one is a true, true beige color. It literally is beige. This one is a cream. And this one goes on a little smoother than the other ones. It has like a slightly different texture. And this one, for some reason to me, has a very 60s feel, like the Beach California, Beach Malibu 60s feel. You know, those when they were wearing more of like the, um, what's it called? The pastels. You know how they wore more of the pastels? This one is like a pastel beige, if there is such a thing. But it has, it doesn't have like a lot of dimensions. It doesn't have shot any glitter or anything like that. It is just a straight beige and it really reminds me of the 60s and maybe even the 70s like Woodstock you know like that so what do you guys think this is again a very occasional lipstick for me I have to be in the mood for it or have a specific vibe that I'm going for to wear this one and this one again is 240 sandalwood beige and it is a cream color all right, we are a little more than halfway there. I'll try to hurry up. I really didn't want this video to be too long. Okay, the next one is, oh, th this one is, okay, yes. This is a color that I was not really that drawn to, um, but I bought it and I actually love it so much. It is 610 Gold Pearl Plum. It, the, the name doesn't make a lot of sense. And honestly, it is a little bit purpley, not purpley, like a plummy, I should say, gold and pink at the same time. It is a really pretty color. And I reach for it a lot more than I ever thought I would. It is a, did I say it's a pearl? Mm -hmm. It literally has gold in it it's not like real gold but it has a gold foily look slightly it's not it's not too much because i really don't like foily lipsticks but it's like slightly pink slightly plum with gold overtones into it i think it's i reach for it a lot more than i ever thought i would so this is gold pearl plum number 610 and it is obviously a pearl. But yeah, I just, I love it. I wear it. That one's probably like the third or fourth most worn of my Revlon lipsticks. And that goes to show sometimes when you're like, oh, I'm not really feeling this lipstick. If you think you might like it, pick it up and just have it and wear it. Make sure that you wear it every now and then. And you might end up thinking like, wow, this really is a pretty color. <clears throat> All right. So that was gold pearl plum. The next one is teak rose. I like, and I, I like this one too. And this is like, what, how would you describe this one? It's a rosy 
has a little bit of a brown in it, mm -hmm. right? Like a rosy brown. To be honest, it seems almost like a natural dark lip color. Okay. Rather than like an artificial color. 445 cream tea creams. <coughs> they also make a nail polish in this color. I'm yeah. wearing it right now on my toes. It's a very pretty nail polish and it's, it's yeah, like a dark nude, right? Mm, yeah. But it has like a, a rosy tone to it. And I don't know if this makes any sense, but a lot of rose colored things, unless it's literally pink flower, but when things are traditionally like rose this, rose that, I usually see like potpourri rose, mm -hmm. like kind of a dusty, yeah. not too pink, but a little fleshy, browny, oops, like a tan, mm -hmm. pinkish. And this is a cream, so it's not going to have any kind of glitter. And this one has a little bit more pigment right off the bat. I don't feel like putting on lip liner because it, to me, lip liner can distort lipstick sometimes. And I don't want to do that. The feel of this one's a little heavier than the other ones. Hence the pigment. But this one will leave your lips feeling like you are wearing lipstick. And this is one of the ones that do, I feel like it makes my lips look a little bit whiter. You mean your teeth? My, what did I say? My yeah. lips? <laughs> it's a long night. Um, yeah, makes my teeth feel like they look whiter. And this one, I notice like sometimes when I feel like wearing a bolder lip, but I'm not in the mood for a red, but I want my lips to be noticeable. It's, I, I go for this one. As you can tell, I kind of, well, actually what happened is I dropped it and it made like a, like on one side. So I've been kind of like trying to roll out that point, that weird little nudge. And I kind of did it, but see, it's. I like this color. This is like a darker shade that you can get away with without it being actually like red. All right, so that was Teak Rose Cream. I can see like little bits of lipstick in between the creases on my lips. I think it's time for a new wipe. Okay, the next one is Toast of New York. This is... Um, a brown, orangey brown, red. Are you falling asleep? A little bit, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Caffeine crash. I know. My sister drank too much caffeine. And this has a tiny bit of an orange tone to it. This is a really nice fall color. And the thing is, it's like I bought all these lipsticks and I wore them for about a year. And then we, um, we got COVID in our lives and I had to cover my mouth for like a year and a half. <coughs> I still wore my lipsticks under my mask. I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't not. And it would, it would just piss me off. And then my masks would have constant lipstick inside of them but I didn't care. I bought them to wear them, not to sit on my, my counter. But now that we're not wearing masks anymore, I love just, I, I, I've become like more appreciative, I think, of lipstick and lip glosses because now like something that was covered up for so long, I just have the joy of using the lipstick and walking around with it. So this is um, number 325, Toast of New York, and it's also a cream. And this does make your teeth look nice and white. Sorry if I'm getting too close to the camera. I don't mean to. Too much face. <laughs> Sorry if I'm doing too much face. I can't see really like how much you guys can see because I'm facing a different direction. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Might wear this one tomorrow. And I don't wear lipstick just for one season. Like I would never just wear this in the fall. I would wear this in the summer all year long. 
All right, next is, this one has a little bit more of a matte look, even though it's not a matte lipstick, but let's see how it looks on. This is 473 Mauve Night. This is a very like dusty um, mauve color and it's kind of dark. And I can't say it's my favorite. It is glossy. I actually ended up giving this away to my mom and I took it back for the video because I kind of regret giving it away. It's, it's prettier than I remember. It really is a mauve color and it's not as dark as I remember it being. I guess I felt like the, the smoky mauve color kind of washed me out a little bit. And I think that's the reason why I gave it away and I wasn't really a huge fan. But I'm like revisiting it now. It's been about a year since I gave it away. And I just don't want my mother to be like, because she already accused me of asking for one of my lipsticks back because she wasn't wearing them. And I kind of <coughs> regret it giving it away. And she's like, why do you give me something and then you take it back? I'm like, mom, it's been in your bag for a year. You haven't touched it or like six months. So anyways, I don't know if I showed this to you guys or not. 473 Mauve Night. And it really is a mauve color. And I would actually dare say that it is it's very shiny. It has a sheen. Glossy. Um, I would almost dare say it's taupey, like a taupey mauve. Mm -hmm. And it's dusty. It does have a little bit of a dust to it. Okay, next. Now we're going into the darker shades. The next, I'm going to wear, the next two are very iconic colors. And if you are a long-term fan of Revlon, you would know this one is 720 Fire and Ice. This is one of their originals from the 50s, or I think they, I think Revlon was made in the 50s or the 40s, but this is one of the originals, Fire and Ice. This is like a pinky watermelony red. Or is it like a coral red? I definitely see some orange in it too, though. So I see the orange, I see the pink, but yeah, it's kind of like a corally red. I would have to say it's a corally red now that I have it on. Revlon has a lot of reds. So, you know, to describe them accurately, I would say this is a coral red. And this is, I think I already showed it, 720 Fire and Ice. And you can see how shiny it looks. It's a very bright corally red. And I also think that this color is pretty universal. I think if you're super light skinned, it would look super pretty. If you're dark skinned, it would look very pretty as well. And it's a cream. Oh, I love it. I do like it. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking like maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. <laughs> All these colors, I'm like, oh, I'm going to wear that one tomorrow. So this is Fire and Ice, one of the most iconic colors by Revlon. All right, here we go. This one I've worn a lot. And to be honest, it's just, it's one of those kind of colors that I like, but I don't like, but I don't know why I'm wearing it all the time. It is a number, and this is another one that I dropped. That's why it's kind of more rounded because I had to take the little weird point off after dropping it. This is number 46 bombshell red. And honestly, this is not a very, I mean, it is red, obviously, but it's not super, super red. I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to decide how to describe it. And this one, because it doesn't have a little slanted point, it's a little harder to get on my lips without it looking like I, like Tammy Faye, <laughs> <laughs> like a clown. It's red, but it has a little bit of a, 
what would you say, like fuchsia or? It is really pretty. Now I, now I know why I wear it. Yeah, it is a bit fuchsia-ish. It's not like a bright, like a hot pink, but it's definitely like, um, it's red, but it has just, it's hard to describe. It's not a true red by any means. It almost has like a, like a berry. Maybe? A berry. That's what I'm looking for. It's almost like a deep berry. Although I've had other lipsticks that are more berry like, but this is more like a berry red. It's a very, it's, it looks very glossy. I, I love this color. Now, I've worn it to work a lot. And every time I wear it to work, I'm kind of like, like I'm wearing, because I am wearing a very dark red, but I, I just, I love it. Lipstick has a way of um, setting my mood and I choose lipsticks based on my mood. But yeah, now I see why I wear it a lot. It's actually very pretty. So that is Bombshell Red, number 46, and it's a cream. All right, it's we're a getting- cranberry-ish too. It is. That's a, that's a, that's a better description. It's cranberry, but a little bit not purpley, but it's more toward the plum red, purpley red, yeah. cranberry red. All right. Hope I don't end up looking like a clown after taking this one off. And this is the thing. These colors are very easily taken off. Like as you can see, I'm just using like a baby wipe to wipe it off my lip. Although if I like specifically with this one, with the bombshell red, because it, I don't like it to transfer and very glossy lipsticks tend to transfer more than like the matte ones. But what I will do is I will lie, I would put it all on my lips and then I'll blot it off till it's more like a stain. And then I kind of just wait a minute or two and even like blot it with powder <coughs> to set it in. And then I'll put another coat on and then I'll blot it off and you can get more of a matte look with that as well if you don't like the really super shiny color and that works with any lipstick honestly is but it's I, I traditionally use it more with the dark that I will put you know I'll line my lips with the point and I'll get a lot of product in and then I'll blot it off dust it with powder get another layer blot it off and it creates like a it sets it in there and it, it does create a little bit more of a um of a matte look and it a stain like a dark stain and it stays on longer all right so here we're going into the darkest ones that i have now i had black cherry but i gave it to my sister so i don't have that one to show anymore um so these are the last three darker colors this one is called coffee bean and it's a uh, pearl brown coffee bean 300. i've worn this one i think twice and this is like a foily bronzy brown. And again, because I have so many lipsticks. And this one kind of steps a little bit outside of my usual comfort zone. It has a little bit of a taupe, like a dull color to it that it's just not like my favorite i'm trying to see how my teeth look i think it makes my teeth look pretty white but it's not a color that i've used a lot again i feel like it makes me feel a little bit washed out it's not my typical choice of color but still within the pretty range i think there's a, there are occasions for it i think this could look really pretty if i wore it like all black or even all white depends on the look that I'm going for. So this is number 300. It's a pearl and it's coffee bean. <coughs> Two more to go guys. Thank you for hanging in there. I'm going to get another wipe.
All right, two more to go. And this one is Raisin Rage. This is a dark, I, I'm showing it to the mirror like the camera's there. Raisin Rage, it's a cream and it's number 630. There we go. There it focused and then went out of focus. There you go. This one is dark, highly pigmented. And now that I'm putting lipstick on in lighting, I'm noticing that they all tend to be very, that, not very, they all tend to have like a shine to it. Like, like it looks shiny, not matte at all. This one goes on a little bit thicker. Yeah. It definitely goes on thicker. And of course it's highly pigmented. And this is another one that you can really layer if you want. So this one is, and I know that I'm not getting it on as clearly on my lips as I should. Raisin Rage 630. This one is pretty brown, but it does have like a, what would you say? Like a slightly pink tint. It's more like a pinky. It's not an orange brown like Toast of New York. No. A little bit chocolatey in some ways, but I almost see like it has like a... I don't see chocolate in it. You do or you don't? I do. You do? It's like kind of chocolate, but it... I almost see like it has like a dusty pink tone to it in some mm -hmm. ways. And I could be totally wrong. Um, and it could just simply be the color, I don't know, of a raisin. Not a prune, for sure, but you guys can see the color. And it has, like, a little shine to it, so. And it does make my teeth look really white, and I like that in the lipstick. So this is 630 Cream Raisin Rage. And now the last one. This one is uh, the darkest one of all. A Raisin Rage darker, we'll see. It's a different color. A uh, quick interruption, you left out cherries in the snow. Oh, no, I can't leave cherries in the snow out. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's right. It was in here. I, I just skipped over it. You skipped over cherries yeah. in the snow? Yeah. All right. So, guys, this is, uh, this was, this should have been after Fire and Ice. This one's called Cherry in the Snow. Cherries in the Snow. I've been wearing this one since I was 15. <laughs> this is a pink raspberry, um, red it's considered a red and it is one of the first made lipsticks by Revlon as well and this one's been around for 50 60 70 years too so this is one of the original this is number 440 cherries in the snow and they also make this one in a nail polish that is absolutely gorgeous color and I've worn the nail polish and the lipstick for 37 years this one, you guys are going to be wowed by it. It never ceases to wow me. And this could be considered, it's considered a red, but it has such a pretty pink tone to it, like a raspberry fuchsia, maybe a little bit fuchsia. Mm -hmm. And again, you can layer just by doing this. Getting a little bit of a lighter color. It's not as bright. It's not as super shiny. You can blot it and leave it as a stain. Put powder on it and get it a little bit more like a, yeah. a matte. Or you can layer it and get the full effect. Wow, I can't believe I almost forgot this one. This one with the, the nail polish is so beautiful too. So again, this is 440. It's a cream cherries in the snow. And it is a red. It's considered, it's a part of the red collection, but it's a very raspberry fuchsia-y type of color. And it's a full color. It's like full coverage in this cream. Let me see my teeth. 
All right, so now we are going to the last one. So can't believe I've been wearing this one for 37 years. I don't think they've changed the formula either. I think they've kept it the same. All right, last one. And this lipstick is actually my sister's, not mine. This is a deep red. Is it kind of burgundy? We'll find out. This one it is. It does have a bit of a brown to it. It's a newer color. I can't say it's absolutely new, but it's newer because it could have been newer for like the last year or two. Mm -hmm. 777. It is called Vampire Love. And I believe this one will be. Let me see if I, it bugs me that it'll not, the focus part of it's bugging me. But anyways, number 777, Vampire Love. And let's see, I've never tried this one before. Aha. It is like a burgundy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's Is it considered a red? I don't know if it's considered a red. I feel on it's. Almost like a brownish plum. Okay. I think I've put this on in your bathroom before. Yeah. <laughs> it's really pretty. It is dark. It really is dark. And it's, yeah. It gives a little, it's like a deep red <laughs> burgundy and it gives off a little bit of like gothic vibes. Doesn't it? A little bit. Yeah. yeah it's kind of brown, brown, red, burgundy. And it is absolutely, it is not the darkest color. I think uh, black cherry is the darkest color, but I like this better than black cherry. This is vampire blood. The cream number 777. Vampire Love. Vampire Love. What did I say? What, vampire Blood. Oh, it's Vampire Love. So what do you guys think of this one? Yeah, it's brown. I have like all this stuff from the baby wipes on my face. All right. Well, that is the last of my Revlon collection and my sister's. So... Um, if you want to comment, I would love to know which one of these colors you think were the, was the prettiest and also which colors would you recommend for me to buy? I am in the market of adding a few more of these Revlons to my collection and it's lipstick is not something that I like to buy, put on and return if I don't like it. So I usually tend to end up keeping a lipstick if I don't like it, cause I don't like to return lipstick. Um, so make a recommendation that you think would probably work for me and I will buy it and hopefully love it. So thank you for visiting my channel. I am Sophia. Thank you, Melanie. She helped me set this all up. Um, uh, well, anyways, thank you for visiting my channel and please comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Again, comment on any colors or experiences you've had with Revlon um, super lustrous lipsticks. They are the old school. They are what got me started with lipstick. They are super affordable. As you can see so many color ranges. And I honestly think that most of these colors would look really good on most skin, skin tones. So I like that about them too. And I can't say again, like they are so affordable and you know, you can afford to buy five lipsticks for the price of one super expensive, like 30, $40 one. Um, and I'm just as happy. I am not about like spending money on a name brand just because it's a name brand. Um, Revlon something I've always really loved. And um, I know it's not a very super high end lipstick, but you know what? It's always gotten the job done for me and I've always enjoyed it, enjoyed them. And um, anyways, that's all I have to say. So again, thank you for visiting my channel and watching this video. And I know that it was kind of long. It's almost an hour long. <laughs> So sorry, I meant it to be like 30 minutes, but here we go. Okay, bye. Thank you. Okay.